So now I'm going to invite uh, onto the platform another a child of the house of mom. And this is Senator, uh, no, this is a uh, member of parliament, Honorable Stanley Mudama. This is a son of the house. And you can come up onto the platform. Now, Honorable Stanley Mudama is the current member of parliament for Lamu West constituency for the second consecutive term, having previously held the position of MP for the last six years. He is a member of the National Assembly Departmental Committee for Blue Economy, Water and Irrigation and Kenya Maritime Authority. Honorable Stanley is also a member of the National uh, Implementa Committee, Implementation Committee. He is a civil engineer by profession with over 20 years of experience in road engineering, water and other civil engineering development projects in Eastern African region where he has held managerial positions in several companies over the years. So he is from Lamu West and he is going to tell us the opportunities in the Lamu region. So we're going to invite Honorable uh, Stanley Mudama and his question that came prior was, what are in the investment proposals in Lamu, uh, in Lamu County? Because that's a, an attractive, very highlight uh, constituency um, county right now that we need to know about. Okay. Please give him a hand clap. Mom, I'm humbled to be to stand before you and before the whole congregation. I am indeed grateful that I have such an opportunity to talk about my county. But much more so, Mom, is the journey we have walked with you, where you have me and my wife. You have been with us through thin and thick. Many other times, mom, we made grievous mistakes and you have forgiven us. Thank you for accepting us. <laughs> Thank you. Because, mom, you know, in this journey, you can find yourself in a hard, between a hard and a rock and a mom, thank you for thank you for loving me and I know you connect with me very well on this and I'm your son I know many people would want to hear what I would say about this, but this is what I am saying. That God is good. <laughs> Her Excellency, thank you so much Test. for the many times testing, I have testing. consulted you and the many times we have, you have walked with our mom, you have crisscrossed the whole country. I can't say much. I will say that you are the pillar and we as members of parliament and those who are in leadership, and those who have, every day they wake up with these challenges. When we see you holding hand our president, we feel comfortable. <laughs> Especially when you pray for the nation. Because it's not now. You did not start now. My first encounter was when we met with, during the business fellowship a long time ago. And that time you are not even uh, in uh, higher positions. I think the, the president was a, a member of parliament by then. And you have worked until today. So we really love you and we, we thank God for you. So, and to my wife, I, she has always been there for me. So thank you. <laughs> so I am a member of parliament from Lamu, and Lamu is one of the places that you would love to go. I don't know whether the slide is ready. Please, let's go on, because I would rather want to move very fast. 
I just wanted to show you the picture where Lamu is. The background of Lamu County is actually from what uh, Senator Veronica have said, we are County 005. And Lamu County is one of the six counties in the coastal, located on the north, uh, north coast, and it borders Tana River and Garissa on the other side, and then the other entire area is ocean. Lamu County has a small population. Uh, during our last census, 2019, we were around 143,000, thereabout. It's a cosmopolitan area. It has two constituencies, Lamu West and Lamu East. Lamu County is a county to watch because Lamu County has vast opportunities. Namely, we have the Lamu port, Southern Sudan, Ethiopia transport, that is called Lapset Corridor. A corridor like the one we have from Mombasa to Emali, Nairobi, and all the way to Kisumu and Maraba. When the, when the railway line was being constructed, this is a corridor. They did the road, and they did the, the railway line, and the pipeline. And this is what opened all the towns you see from Mombasa as you come all the way to Nairobi and go all the way to Kisumu. So we have a replica of the same called Lapset, which starts from Lamu, goes to Garissa, goes to, goes to Isiolo, then it goes to Nandakok, Jew, the upper part of it, and the Moyale, the other side. This is a proposal, and, this, and, and the, the, roads, the road network have been done. And not only a proposal, in this, pipe, in this corridor, we are going to have the, uh, the following. We are going to have a pipeline from Lokicha coming all the way down to Lamu, where we are going to have the refinery, the oil refinery. Again, we are going to have the railway line connecting uh, southern Sudan, uh, Uganda, and Ethiopia with Lamu. We are also going to have a highway that trucks will be able to move, or vehicles will be able to move from Lamu all the way to the three countries. That is Uganda, Southern Sudan, and Ethiopia. Uh, Lamu has also a, an opportunity, we are lucky to have a Lamu port, which is complete. Uh, Lamu port is, I don't know with the slide for Lamu port, is already done. We have three baths already finished. We have a potential of constructing 23 baths. And out of the 23 baths, the Kenya government has already finished uh, three of these baths. One of these baths is 400 meters, meaning it can dock big ships than any other country apart from Southern, uh, South Africa, Durban. They are the only people we can compete with. But we give them a challenge because if all the, the transshipment ships have to go all the way to Southern, uh, South Africa, Kenya is a shorter distance. So we are lucky and we thank the president because he has a bigger plan to make sure that the other baths are constructed and he has also, he also have a bigger plan to make sure that we are going to have through what uh, Ms. Uh, Ms. Sari was telling us in the morning, the economic zones to support those who would like to invest, like in the pharmaceuticals, ship making, boat making, fishing industry, those who would want to have the warehouses so Lamu poses one of the best count, uh, uh, place to invest. Actually, we are bigger than Mombasa. It's just a matter of time. This is the place you'll be coming for holiday. Yeah. When you talk about another opportunity is fishing. We have the fish, tuna fish worth the billions of dollars. Over the years, since Kenya independence, our Kenyan coastal line 
which is 200 meters, nautical miles, all the way from Kuale, Shimoni, going down to Liwatoni, Mombasa, going down to Kilifi, Mombasa, eh, Kil eh, Malindi, all the way to Tanaliva, and going to all the way to Lamu Down. We have a lot of tuna fish and more other fish, other types of fish. So what the president has done, he has created a blue economy, a committee, uh, a ministry, and a blue economy, which is meant to utilize all the potential along the coastal line. He is now in the process of finishing, uh, we, are, we are doing some uh, regulations, so that now you can apply, as an, as an investor, you can apply for fishing license, whereby you will get the license, you can put up a factory, a processing factory, and you can export fish. Well, the other thing the president has done is to come up with a coastal guard so that we protect our waters, because we have had many countries from all over the, all over the continent, Asia, Europe, Southern Korea, and all these other people who have been fishing this, taking away this fish. But now, hence for the, from the time the president has come up with these missions, we are, do, we, we, we are doing well, and this is an open opportunity to invest in the fishing industry. Under the current uh, budget, the president has put in, has, has ensured that he has set aside millions of shillings to construct uh, fish landing sites. For those who may not know, fish landing sites are places where when, you, when the fishermen come, that's where they put in their, their fish, then we have cold rooms, and we are going to have a lot and a lot of opportunity. So you can apply, you can come and visit that area. We show you, and then you... you and you know, when you do this, we are going to get businesses, we are going to get opportunities to also revenue, we are going to raise revenue and the like. The other opportunity we have currently, the other opportunity we have is livestock. Mom, as you know, from northern, all the, all the northern part of the Kenya, which is semi-arid, we have a lot of cattle. We have a lot of livestock, goats, sheep. So, uh, the present have set aside a couple of millions of shillings to construct a um, uh, marshalling, uh, marshalling ground and we have acquired 16,000 acres where if you have your ship or if you have an order, let's say from Qatar, from Yemen, from Dubai, you can press the orders, then you can ask the people from Garissa, Lamu, Tana River to bring the ship, then you do the fattening, or your cows, you do the fattening, then you, you, you export them live. But also, we are going to construct, it is in this financial, financial year, we are going to construct a, 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 a meat processing, such that if you want to export ready meat, you just package and you export. Another opportunity is farming. Lamu is known for cotton growing. We have a vast land, because as you can see, the population is still... We are still at 150 thereabout. We have vast land, and the president, as Madam Sari was saying, to Ms. Sari was saying today, he is keen on farmer farming. So you can come lease land or buy, put in your money, grow cotton, either process or export raw. And this is, would be better than putting money in real estate. Yes. Because the returns are good and it is, you can control the market and you can just learn, when you, can, you can predict what will happen next year and you can set targets. When you're still on farming, there is also, also cashew nuts. 
A lot of cashew nuts are found in Lamu. And if you are here on those who are in, in the diaspora, I would encourage them to visit Lamu. Come and see. Because you can set for cashew nuts, you can set even a small portion, a, a, a cottage industry. If you have your order, either locally or a, a international order, you can export. And you don't have to put in a lot of millions of dollars. So I would encourage that you come, team up with us in Lamu. We do this together. When you talk about service industry, tourism, Lamu is one of the best places you can enjoy your holiday. They have very clean beach, nice fish. You can, see, uh, you can take out a dow, watch a sunset, very beautiful hotels where we sometimes don't, maybe some of the hotels there is no TV. So when you are tired and you don't want to hear anybody talk, you just lock yourself there, you just swim and come back and just relax. In the morning you just walk, take a walk. Talking about this, many people have come across, they ask, what about security? Security is, in Lamu is good. I'm doing my sixth year in leadership. Yes, it is true we had problems earlier, but those problems were external problems. It was nothing internal. And the moment the government sorted out the external challenge, we don't have any problem anymore. So, and we, we thank mom because she has prayed for us in Lamu in many occasions and gradually uh, we are now receiving a lot of visitors. To confirm this, we have six flights every, every day. We, we have Jumbo Jet, we have Skyward, we have all these local flights. So you can come in the morning do your business and even go back in the evening. If you want to sleep, you can stay with, that there, with us there. You come morning and any time in the evening you would want to go meet during the day. There earlier before, we used to have maybe one flight. That is like 10 years ago. Talking about the airport as another component of the lab set, the government have rehabilitated Manda Airport Put in now we we have uh, we have we have we have expanded it, and again in the same budget proposal, the government is going to put up an international airport to facilitate the the traffic flow of the people coming to do the business with the port. So if you would want to invest, come now. Don't wait. Come now, because the moment the port activities start and peaks, because I believe the president is in the process of, uh, through the advice from uh, the, uh, what we have discussed with Madam Sari here, the president is preparing to give out the port services, to lease them out, because in the whole world, ports are, ports are not, is not a government business because the government does not do business with the port. The government gets revenue from the port users. So the moment the president finishes to get us a good investor, land will shoot. Opportunities will be grabbed by those who are near. So I encourage you in the diaspora and those who are in Kenya, in Nairobi and other places, please visit us in Lamu and let us work together. Otherwise, we are grateful. We have a lot of a lot more other things to, to talk about, uh, like what I do in Lamu, and you, Madam Sari has just explained everything. We have talked about the investments. We have talked about the ASZs. We have talked about. Uh, oil and gas, if you go to the budget 23-24, you can see the president has put uh, uh, some huge sum of money for exploration of oil and gas. 
So Lamu is a place to watch and is a place, those who have an investment eye, you better come. And thank you so much, ma'am, for giving me the opportunity to present my county. God bless you. Uh, I'm reminded about Dongo Kundu. This is a project, is an ES, is an economic zone in Mombasa. It is found in Mombasa. And President have put in a lot of emphasis and money already. The project has already started. The construction of an industrial park as you go past Likoni, there will be a big bridge where you cross to the other side by drive. You can drive the other side. And then we have the Dogokundu. You can approach it also from the airport on the other side. And this is, this is, these are big go-downs, big factories where you can now come and invest. If you want to do, for example, pharmaceutical, where you just ship in your raw materials in the Mumba, in the Drew Mombasa port and you process there, do what you are doing, value addition or, or raw products uh, like fruits or whatever, you do low, uh, value addition in Mombasa, then you export or you sell locally. This is going to attract a lot of people, a lot of investors. And for your information, there is a huge potential in Africa to sell your products as far as you do them well. If you process them well, you package them well, you get business, you get market right there. La, uh, in, in Kenya, in, Tanari, uh, in, in, in East Africa and the entire, you can also ship to Europe and other places. So Dogokundu is one of such an opportunity which, which is now ready for, for grabbing. And you can grab that opportunity, run with it before other people take it. And that tells you the potential of Kwale also, which is rich in minerals. It's also there because Dogokundu is actually going to be on the Kwale side. So you are most welcome. Come, we work together in Kenya. When you visit Nairobi, when you visit uh, Nairobi and uh, other places, please consider to come to coastal side. We have a lot of opportunity and we, are, we welcome all of you. God bless you.